And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, in today's video, as always, we are going to be going over all the latest Liverpool news from the last 24 hours and Liverpool have agreed and an announced a deal. Not speculation, it is a done deal. We will go through that later on in today's video. But let's start with this one. Yes, Jurgen Klopp will be reunited. United with referee Simon Hooper for the final time when he oversees Liverpool's clash with Aston Villa on Monday and he will not be overjoyed with the news. There are few referees that Klopp does not have history with considering he has spent nearly nine years in the Premier League but he will not be forgetting Hooper once he leaves in the summer. Hooper of course was the referee for that fixture at Tottenham earlier in the season when Diogo Jota and Luis Diaz were sent off and the catastrophic VAR error took place. He was fourth official in the defence to Everton and Klopp made sure to name check the official when he previewed the clash against Tottenham last week. He said, only the other night was the first time since Tottenham that Simon Hooper was standing next to me for 90 minutes in a game and I didn't enjoy it in the first place against Everton. I tried to get it out of my head and I couldn't. And now Klopp will have to watch another Liverpool match with Hooper as referee as he has been appointed for the Germans final away game. Hooper's assistants will be Adrian Holmes and Tim Wood, the fourth official is Tim Robinson and VAR will be operated by Chris Kavanagh, assisted by Mark Scholes. Monday will be his fifth game overseeing the Reds this season. The only the Reds have only won two of those matches, and that includes a 3-0 victory over Aston Villa at Anfield. In total, this will be Hooper's 10th time refereeing a Liverpool game, and in all of his previous encounters, he has never awarded a penalty for Klopp's side, but he has awarded one against. Hooper has not had the smoothest of seasons, that is putting it lightly, having been deemed to have made an official mistake in Manchester City's 3-3 draw with Tottenham earlier in the campaign. Let's hope there is no controversy for Klopp's second to last Liverpool game as the manager will need to hold his tongue and is to avoid a yellow card that will see him banned for his farewell at Anfield. So yeah, referees of course have been announced for that clash. Guys, a little while now until we are back in action again in the Premier League and whilst obviously it is Jurgen Klopp's last away game in charge at the football club, I feel a lot of uh, the fans feeling at this moment in time is just just waiting for the season to end. Of course, we do have to enjoy Jurgen Klopp's last few games, but everyone knows that Liverpool aren't really playing for anything now. We've kind of got third place. We've got Champions League football. When I stated, no more competitions. Are we in there? It's just two games, and we're going to see off Jurgen Klopp in the best possible way. Uh, and then, of course, going into the RNA slot era, which everyone is very much looking forward to at this moment in time from what I'm seeing on social media. Um, ahead of this, guys, of course, there has been players uh, rumoured to join the club. There's also been staff leaving the club and all these kind of things. And earlier this week, we brought to you the news that after 15 years at Liverpool, goal goalkeeping coach John Ackerberg had decided to seek a new challenge and is sent to reunite with him and Steven Gerrard. Ackerberg's contract expires in the summer and despite belief he would help welcome in another new manager, he elected to depart in search of a fresh challenge. In an emotional thank you letter posted on Instagram, the 52-year-old said his decision came with a heavy heart, but that it could be right for me to start a new challenge. And according to the Mirror's chief football writer, Simon Mullock, that is to take him to Saudi Arabia to work under Gerard at El Etifak. Actor Berg has been offered to take his next job as a part of Gerrard's coaching staff, which would reunite the pair after both being at Liverpool from 2009 to 2015. It would be somewhat surprise move for Actorberg, who has been based on Merseyside since 1998, having worked at Tranmere first before joining Liverpool's academy. Actorberg would be a coup for Gerrard, though he is a full experience and knows how to identify goalkeeping talent, having previously told LFC News he searches all the leagues to see if there are new goalies coming up. Gerrard held on to his position at El Etifak despite early criticism and, in fact, signed an extension in January to keep him in the row until 2027. The former Liverpool captain side are currently 8th in the Saudi Pro League, 45 points behind league leaders Al Hilal, though only three sides have conceded fewer goals after 30 games. As for El Etifak's current goalkeeping department, 
Arthur Guedes is the designated coach and former Flamengo and Gremio keeper Paulo Victor is the number one with the two Saudi natives as his backup. Back at Liverpool, it remains to be seen what Akterberg's departure means for fellow goalkeeping coaches Jack Robinson and Claudio Tavaro. So, of course, yeah, a bit of a mix-up that's happening at this moment in time. And, of course, we brought you that news last week with regards to John Akterberg, but, of course, his next destination has been confirmed. As stated, there is going to be a summer of sort of incomings and outgoings and players extending their stay. We've talked about already that um, Jarrell Quansara is probably the next player to sign a new contract. There's also going to be Trent Alexander-Arnold, Mo Salah and Virgil van Dijk's future uh, being discussed this summer, whilst other players could be going out to the door. Talks of Darwin Nunes potentially going out to the door. Talks about other big and high-profile players going out to the door. And loads of talks that the club are going to be bringing in some more signings and getting the checkbook out to really support Arne Slot under Michael Edwards' revolution. Um, however, Liverpool, of course, have announced and agreed a deal today with regards to a player signing a brand new contract. As stated, this isn't speculative. Uh, this is being confirmed and announced by the club, and that is that Kiro Figura has signed his first professional contract with Liverpool FC. The 70-year-old striker joined the Reds at under-14s level and has been a prolific goal scorer throughout his time at the academy. Figura recently marked his recovery from injury with a goal from the bench in his return match run the under-18s against Wolverhampton Wanderers. A USA youth international, Figura has also made his mark on the international stage, scoring seven goals to help his country to the final of the CONCACAF Championships in 2023. He also played in last year's under-17s World Cup, where the USA lost to Germany in the last 16. That is what uh, it was said on the club's website. There was also a lot of talk of that he is uh, very much a wonder kid. And of course, Arne Slot will certainly be keeping an eye on what he does at the youth levels and certainly could be a name that we speak about in the future. But of course, massive congratulations there for him. Of course, first professional deal, huge, huge news and uh, huge tragic congratulations in order for him him uh, but yeah great to see that and hopefully he will maybe be the next person along this sort of conveyor belt obviously next guys it probably be Jarrell Consar that gets a new deal we are coming to that sort of territory now at the end of May where these kind of contract agreements are set to play, take place some players will of course go out to the door some players will of course sign longer and more improved terms going forward into the Arne slot era but that is a done deal guys no speculation around that one completely done sealed and announced by the football club but Liverpool fans that's all I've got for you today do let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below hit the like button hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all next time take care peace